as I mentioned at the beginning, we all live in what are called in shorthand multicultural societies, at least in Western and Central Europe. And what happens in such societies is what I call the taboo ratchet. The taboo ratchet. Inevitably, once one group or one history has been given, so to speak, this special position uh, of being its denial, being uh, the denial of the Holocaust being criminalized by law, other groups, other tendencies demand the same. And the next, so to speak, prominent group on the scene were, of course, um, the Armenians or those representing the uh, 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 history of Armenia. And as some of you will know, the distinguished historian of the Ottoman Empire, Bernard Lewis, a uh, very distinguished historian of the Ottoman Empire, was convicted by a French court in 1995. There is the court verdict. Okay, you can click off our website to see it. Um, for denying that what happened to the Armenians in the last years of the Ottoman Empire, and here uh, you can see is what he said in his interview with Le Monde, was strictly speaking a genocide in the terms of international law. And he made the argument in an extremely nuanced way and then further nuanced it in a subsequent article in Le Monde. Um, and nonetheless, he was convicted, although to a, only to, a, to, to, to pay a nominal fine. Um, in Switzerland, um, which also um, criminalizes denial of the Armenian uh, genocide, a much less, uh, uh, how shall I put it, um, 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 a much less acknowledged and, and uh, respected scholar, um, a, a, a rather fiery Turkish writer, Dogu Perincik, um, was convicted in 2007 of denying that what happened to the Armenians in the last years of the Ottoman Empire was a genocide. At roughly the same time, the Turkish novelist Orhan Pamuk, a Nobel Prize winner, as you know, was prosecuted in Turkey for saying, curiously enough, to a Swiss magazine that what happened to the Armenians was a genocide. So what was state-ordained truth in Switzerland was state-ordained falsehood in Turkey. What was state-ordained truth in the Alps was state-ordained falsehood in Anatolia. You can see the problem with states legislating historical truth. Interestingly, only two weeks ago, the European Court of Human Rights uh, reversed the uh, Swiss court's judgment on the inflammatory Perinchek, not defending in any way what he had said, but arguing that it was nonetheless um, that to, to convict him of, 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 of genocide denial was a violation of Article 10 of the European Convention of Human Rights, that is to say the free speech article. 